Self Mohana Priya, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics from the KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. The topic is real analysis. Then, sequence of a real number. First, we define a sequence. A sequence of real number is a function from the set of n natural number to the set of all real numbers. If function f from n to r is a sequence and if sn equal to f for n, n belongs to n. Then, we write that the sequence f as Sn or S1, S2 up to etc. Next we define subsequence. Let Sn be a sequence of real number and let N1, N2 up to F, Nk be strictly increasing sequence of N natural numbers. Then the sequence of Sn1, Sn2 up to Snk is called a subsequence of Sn and it is denoted by sequence of Snk. Next we define that the range of sequence. The range of a sequence is merely a set that defines the sequence and the range is usually represented by the set of sequence of x1, sequence of x2 up to etc and so on. Next we define bounded sequence. A sequence Sn is bounded above if the range of Sn is bounded above. Similarly, a bounded sequence Sn is bounded below if the range of Sn is bounded below. A sequence Sn is bounded if the range of Sn is bounded, thus Sn is a bounded if and only if m greater than 0 such that m belongs to R, mod Sn greater than or equal to m for every n belongs to n. Monotone sequence. Monotone sequence is a sequence which is either non-decreasing or non-increasing terms. Both conditions are satisfying these conditions are called monotone sequence. Operation non-convergent sequence. If sequence of Sn and sequence of Tn are a real number, then sequence of Sn plus sequence of Tn is the sequence of sequence of Sn plus Tn. Then sequence of Sn and sequence of Tn is a sequence of a sequence of Sn into Tn. Also, if C belongs to R, then C of sequence of Sn is a sequence of C into sequence of Sn. Next, we define operation on divergent sequence. Let the sequence of Sn is divergent, then the sequence of minus Sn is also divergent. Then the sum of these two sequences is clearly not convergent. Next we define limit of inferior and superior condition. The limit of superior is the large of the two and the inferior limit is smaller. The inferior and superior limit agree if and only if the sequence is convergent. Therefore, when there is a single limit. The limit of superior condition. Limit n tends to infinity in minimum of xn equal to limit n tends to infinity into xn. The limit of superior condition. Limit n tends to infinity superior of xn equal to limit of n tends to infinity xn. Next we define Cauchy sequence. A sequence xn is a real number is said to be a Cauchy sequence. If for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists n belongs to n such that if n comma m greater than n therefore mod xn minus xm less than epsilon a sequence is a cauchy if the term is eventually get arbitrarily close to each other therefore 1 by n is cauchy sequence next we define nested interval theorem the nested interval theorem states that the intersection of all the intervals i n contain exactly one points Next, we define that the series of real numbers. We discussed about convergent and divergent series. First, we define convergent series. A sequence of a real number converges to a real number A. If for every positive number epsilon, there exists an n belongs to n such that for all n greater than or equal to n, mod a n minus a is less than epsilon. If a n is converges to a, then we write that limit n tends to infinity a n equal to a or a n convergent to a or as n tends to infinity. Divergent series. The formal expression is called the infinite series for n equal to 1, 2, 3 up to etc. Then the expression limit s is called nth partial sum of series. If limit s exists and it is finite, the series is said to be convergent. If limit s does not exist or is it is of infinite the series is said to be divergent next we define about alternating sequence by an alternating sequence we mean any sequence of a n that is the form of a n equal to minus 1 power n into b n 
for some non negative real numbers or bn next we define that conver conditional converges and absolute converges let summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n be a series of real number we satisfying the two conditions first condition if summation n equal to 1 to infinity mod a n converges then we say that summation of a n is convergence absolutely next condition if summation a n equal to 1 to infinity a n is convergent then summation n equal to 1 to infinity into mod a n is divergent then we say that summation a n is conditionally convergence thank you